stockholder proposals an advisory vote regarding reporting on effects and risks associated with electromagnetic radiation and wireless technologies. Our board has recommended against for the reasons set forth in the proxy. This stockholder proposal by Lendro Purcell, who's represented Dr. Devra Davis, has prepared a pre-recorded message. I am Deborah Davis, founder of Environmental Health Trust. I am speaking with you today on behalf of shareholder Lendry Purcell regarding her proposal seeking an annual report on the risks for magnetic fields and wireless radiation in their products. I'm also speaking on behalf of millions of young children, infants and toddlers, and pregnant women who are more vulnerable to wireless radiation, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. I'm the founding director of the Board on Environmental Studies and Toxicology, from the National Academy of Sciences, and I've published more than 220 scientific articles on environmental health and have concluded, along with hundreds of other experts, that current exposures to non-ionizing electromagnetic fields, called EMF, constitute a serious and unrecognized public health risk. Tesla vehicles operate with a 1,200-pound battery that emits magnetic fields and also uses wireless equipment such as Wi-Fi and radar emitting wireless radiation. Tesla should provide transparent information on measured exposures and efforts to reduce them. The World Health Organization has concluded that both low levels of EMF and microwave or cellular radiation are, quote, possible carcinogens, the same category as some pesticides and gasoline. The companies that provide secondary insurance, like Lloyd's of London and Swiss Re, have long considered electromagnetic fields to be uninsurable, comparable to asbestos, due to potential health and environmental damages. Tesla shareholders have a right to know how the company insures itself against such risks. The fact that current levels may be legal does not mean they are safe. In fact, US regulations were set more than a quarter century ago. It has been three years since the US Circuit Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia determined that the FCC had been, quote, arbitrary and capricious in its failure to consider all of the science and refusal to update wireless limits. Tesla has failed to inform consumers about the measured levels of magnetic fields and wireless radiation with, within the automobile or their other products. Infants and toddlers by law are strapped into seats to protect them during crashes, but they have no protection from EMF that can go more deeply into their thinner skulls. To mitigate risks for Tesla, the company could shield its vehicles and ensure wireless antennas could be easily turned off. Hardware and software changes can lower exposures generally. Tesla has developed extremely rigorous compliance and hazard screenings beyond regulatory requirements for certain toxic chemicals. Investors can encourage the company to take a similar leadership role regarding reducing EMF. It's time for the company to unambiguously compete on safety regarding wireless radiation and non-ionizing radiation emitted by its products. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Davis. The board's response is set forth in the proxy. Let's move on to the sixth stockholder proposal, which is an advisory vote regarding adopting targets and reporting.